Hello and welcome to this video showing you how to upload an assignment to a Turnitin Dropbox within a Moodle unit. Navigate to the unit and then the Turnitin Dropbox can be identified by the sort of piece of paper with the red arrow icon. Click the title and then it will take you into Turnitin. If this is the first time that you're making a submission to this, this Dropbox, it will have a Turnitin user agreement you must accept. Once you've done that, it should then not require it the next time around. So click I agree and continue once you've read the user agreement. Turnitin allows up to five parts or five submission areas which are done via tabs at the top. Each one will have its own start date. They may be the same, they may be different. If they are not yet available, you will not be able to submit a paper to it. So click the cloud icon where it says submit paper with the up arrow and then add in your submission title. You can drag and drop your assignment from your computer into the file to submit area. And once that has uh, completed, you'll need to check the uh, sort of acceptance box to say this is your own work and you have not cheated or plagiarized it. And then click add submission. This can take a few minutes to upload. You'll be given a copy of the digital receipt. Uh, click close at the top right and your re submission sh should refresh and have view digital receipt if you want to see that digital receipt again, which you're also able to print out. You'll also be emailed a copy of this digital receipt that you can use to prove when you submitted the work. It will give you your submission ID, which is a unique number to your particular paper. The similarity score is pending at the moment and can take up to an hour the first time you submit. If you are going to be submitting once and then maybe uh, overwriting that submission, it can then take 24 hours for that uh, originality report to change. Once it has gone through, if you click it, it will take you through to your copy of this to sign, find out where the um, plagiarism or similarities have come. You are able to navigate around and see whether it is uh, to another university paper. If you have submitted this paper previously to maybe a, a sort of check box, you will get a high score because it is checking against what you have already submitted. If you are worried about this similarity score, an academic is able to do a much larger filtering and exclude certain sources that may not be relevant. Thank you very much for watching this particular video.